Okay, so now that you've watched the previous video on how to set up your Get More Math account, what I'd like to do is, now I, what I did is I added that video right here. If, Like I said, if you're in class, we'll be doing this together so you don't have to watch that video. If you were unable to make class, you can go ahead and check that video out so that I, it will help you walk you through the process. Um, let me go to this. So now what I'd like to do is, if you were not in class, you can go ahead and take a second here. I'm going to play the student introduction video for you. What it's going to do is tell you a little bit more about the program, what the symbols mean within the program. And, and so this way you can kind of see a little bit of what the program looks like. Okay. Hello, and welcome to Get More Math. Get More Math is a program you will use for practicing math problems. It won't be teaching you new things, but it's going to help you to remember the math that you've already learned, because it is so easy to forget stuff if you don't practice it. In this video, we are going to go over the basics of the student interface for Get More Math so that you can get started using it. This is how a student's screen might look when they first log in. Each of the squares up near the top represents a different type of math problem. Your teacher adds all of these, and they will be things that you've already learned. So right now I have a graphing problem, a fraction problem, and this one is just simple addition. Let's do one, get it right, and now when that skill is selected, you see a new problem of the same kind. Alright, let's take a look at another student's screen. This student has been using Get More Math for longer, and you can see that they've learned a lot more skills. As you keep practicing and getting things right, your skills will go up levels from red to yellow, green, and then silver and gold stars. You can see that some of the skills have dollar signs on them, while others do not. Dollar sign skills are the ones that Get More Math thinks are the best for you to work on right now. Perhaps you haven't done them in a while, or you often make mistakes on them. If a skill has a dollar sign, that means that if you do that problem, you get a point, as long as you get it right on your first try. At the top of your screen, you can see your points for the day, the week, and your game credits, which are earned by getting points and can be spent on playing games. Let's do a skill with a dollar sign on it and get it right. You can see that my points went up. After you do a problem and get it right, Get More Math recalculates which skills get to have dollar signs, and it might even move the one that you just did up a skill level. It also selects a new skill for you to work on. If you don't like the problem that Get More Math selects for you, you can choose a different one. If you'd like, Get More Math even allows you to do skills without dollar signs on them. However, they're not going to earn you any points. Notice that every time I click away from a square, it gains an orange triangle in one corner. If I do this four times, Get More Math won't let me click away anymore. I have to work on that problem. Alright, so let's see what happens when you get something wrong. Well, with most kinds of homework assignments, you only find out what you got wrong after it's been graded and you don't have a chance to really fix your mistakes. But Get More Math lets you know right away if you got something wrong, so that you have the chance to correct every problem and get it right. Look over your work, try to find your mistake, and fix your answer. But notice that you don't earn a point here, because Get More Math only awards points if you get a problem right on your very first try. So then you do that skill again, get it right on the first try, and then you'll earn your point. You might be wondering, what do I do if I get stuck? Well, if you can't figure a problem out on your own, you're probably going to have to get help from your teacher. If your teacher is online at the same time that you are, you can click on the raise hand button in the top right, and your teacher can message you through Get More Math to help you out. However, Get More Math doesn't allow students to send messages back to teachers, so you need to make sure that you have a good way to communicate with your teacher outside of Get More Math. Two good options for this are email and video chat. If your teacher isn't online, Get More Math allows you to skip a limited amount of problems. Get More Math will change those skills to gray and save them for when your teacher is available to help you. Also, when your teacher isn't online, the four corner rule won't apply. So you can click away from a problem as many times as you want, as long as your teacher is offline. Now that we've gone over the basics, let's take a look at some more features of Get More Math. Sometimes in math, you need to use notation that's not on your keyboard like a fraction, an exponent, or absolute value signs. 
In Get More Math, all the symbols that you will ever need are found right under the answer box. Clicking on f of x pulls up even more trigonometric functions and logarithms. If you're using Get More Math on a mobile device, that would be a phone, iPad, etc., the way you enter your answers is a little bit different. Right under the answer box on the left, there are three things you can select. The number sign contains all the numbers, symbols, and letters that you'll use the most frequently. Next over, the X squared button leads to fractions, exponents, and more. The ABC button pulls up your phone keyboard. You'll only really need to use that if you need to write labels for a word problem. Another thing to be aware of when using Get More Math on mobile is that all of your colored squares are automatically collapsed. If you want to see them, just tap the white arrow near the top right. Some questions on Get More Math require you to draw a graph. This in itself is pretty easy to figure out, but Get More Math has a lot of options when it comes to graphing, so it can get a bit more complicated. Here's what you should know. Click on the Settings button below the graph to change its units and scale. For both the X and Y axes, use the top drop-down menu to choose your units. This will only ever be necessary in word problems. Use the bottom menu to choose your scale. Basically, the bigger the numbers you're graphing, the bigger the scale you should use. Sometimes you'll need to graph a ray, a segment, or something else. Click on the drop-down menu right above the graph to change from a line to whatever else you need. Finally, these four lines in the top right corner open a menu. You can do some different things from here. You can change your settings, including if you want to get reward smileys, if you want to see the top scoring student in your class, and if you want to change the theme color of your account. You can view your statistics, like what percent of problems you get right, both overall and for the particular problem that you have open. Calendar will also give you statistics for each month, week, and day, though for this student it's all the same at the moment. Once you have more squares, you can also use organized squares to order them in different ways. Also from the menu, you can play games with your game credits. Each credit earns 90 seconds of game time. Your teacher gets to decide both what games are available and how many points you need to get a game credit. Well, congratulations! You have made it to the end of this tutorial. I hope that this has been helpful and that you'll enjoy using Get More Math. Good luck! Okay, so if you were unable to uh, make class, then go ahead and watch the student intro video. It gives you a brief overview of, of the program that we're going to be using.